Over the last two weeks, I've seen some really weird solutions to how to filter a Dataverse choice column. And so I just want to show you the way that I do it. I think it makes the most sense. So let's first switch over here and show you a crazy example. So here we have a gallery where the items property is set to filter our Dataverse table where favorite animal sets or choice column equals, and they do a lookup against choices, SharePoint employees, favorite animals, right? Because we know that choices, SharePoint employees, favorite animals gives you a list of the values, and that's often what you'll use in a dropdown. Then what they did was they figured out what was the value, and that is the number that is automatically created for these that most of us have no idea what it is. But that will return the right record. That returns the thing they want, and they do a dot value there, and then that will match the favorite animal. Oh my goodness, I took me like five minutes to even figure out how to write this for myself. Now, if you're wondering where they got this number from, let's learn a little extra something real quick. Let's switch over to our Dataverse table. So if you find your table, in this case for me, favorite animals, my choice table, what we're going to do is open that up. And then if you scroll down here, you see it's a global choice, so yes. And then say, hey, slink with choices, favorite animal options, and say edit choice. Now, you might want to note this name while you're here, because we're going to need that in a second. But then you can see that dog is... 213 million 10,000, right? And cat is that with a one and that fish is a two. So these numbers were automatically created by a Dataverse when we did it. And these are the numbers they looked up to then filter. So switching back over here, that is filtering for all the dogs, right? I've got dogs shown there so you can see it. And if we were to change that from a zero to one, now we'd see all the people that like cats. Okay, so this works, but this is really hard to do. So let's not do it this way. Instead, what I want you to do is go up here and say favorite animal equals space. And so that name that you just saw, so favorite animal options, okay, so that's your choice set. If you do a dot on that, then you will see your different choices in alphabetical order, and there's dog, and now we get the dog. So anytime you have a choice set, it's going to be the column name and then whatever weird name this gets. And depending on when you created that over the years, there's a lot of different default names. So probably the easiest way to figure it out is go back over to that Dataverse table, but that should get you.